Hello, welcome to LMC and Knowledge Lyrics Music Channel of Spiritual Insight and Wisdom that I will share to you so you can take along your spiritual journey. I hope you're having a good day, good night, wherever you're at, and whenever you see this, make sure that you're prayed up and in that light of Jesus, okay? Okay, so the message for today that I have gotten through meditation is the de departed celebrities want to assist and work with you on your journey your journey of life and the existence right so i'm gonna name some celebrities that are already making themselves known in this video which is michael archangel michael nelson mandela say hello hello martin Luther King, hello, hello. Juice World, hello. And then for the next one, I got them on my wall because I'm not going to take the poster off my wall, but I'll show you the next one. Prince, hello, hello. So, going back to my, here we go, back here in obviously Jesus most definitely okay we all know that but there are a specific group of celebrities who have crossed over and they want to help and assist the earth's consciousness right he they want to assist um God's people so I'm hearing like Whitney I'm hearing the actors that passed away if you can think of any actors that you connected with that have crossed over if you can think of the singers that have crossed over, um, if you can think of the rappers that have crossed over, I mean, Tupac, Biggie, Aaliyah, um, Left Eye. Um, yeah, I'm hearing those ones as of right now. But I'm hearing, I'm wanting to tell you that if you are thinking of a passed on celebrity, a departed celebrity, at any time of the day, they're sending you that sign. They're putting that thought in your mind, okay? They are trying to contact you. Uh, what I'm hearing with their characteristics on this earth, right? Everybody has good and bad qualities of themselves, and it's about realizing it and correcting it, right? Going through that change um, to enhance your life or enhance your energy, right? So for the people that have crossed over that were probably doing drugs, right? They had drug addictions, all that type of stuff. They are not who they are on, like when they were on this earth and created as a human, they are not that version of themselves anymore. When you cross over, you are embodying light energy, right? Especially if you had a higher calling and purpose, God knows the heart of these celebrities that made mistakes as a human but they have corrected themselves when they crossed over when you pass away when you cross over transcend depart you are forced to go through this life review okay you know how when they say my uh life flashed before my eyes i seen everything or you know when they say that you know i'm gonna bring it back out your eyes are cameras as you awaken from that newborn stage right and the baby can clearly see and visualize when they're looking and opening their eyes there are cam the cameras on right i'm hearing lights camera action when people are when children are born when babies are born lights camera action boom the camera never stops the camera the camera doesn't need to be charged and it never turns off right it's documenting every part of your life wherever you turn your head and view it's documenting all of that for you so and when you blink it's taking a picture so how you can when you grow up and then or you just you go grow up in age right and you can be seven years old now and you're like i remember when i was five and i was doing this and you know how you can interpret what it looked like or how it smelled or a place you've been that's because of your camera in your body you have a internal camera um that will bring back the memories and pull it back right sometimes people have they go through traumatic situations where they're haunted by those memories or the documentation of your eyes right so what i have to say is for anybody who wants to like if they comment under here saying well this specific celebrity was so bad or they did this in their lifestyle let's focus on what did you do and how was your lifestyle right 
because it's like you're projecting now you're projecting and it's then this message isn't for you right but for the people who understand when you cross over you're forced to correct yourself okay and the people that i have mentioned and showed you the passed on people that i have put the camera on they have corrected their wrongs they have right their wrongs and they have raised their frequency and now god has put them in position to help us on this earthly realm okay when you pass away you're still it's still work to do right the work isn't finished the job isn't done okay you know when they say when uh jesus comes back and all that stuff so by the time since that hasn't happened yet even though jesus is here he's around he's already here right but it's like the, the final coming, the, the destruction of this earth, right? There's going to be a destruction of this earth that we exist on in the future. Now, I'm not saying 10 years from now, but you guys know that changes are happening, right? So they are here to assist you and help you and protect you, right? So it's like these, these men, mostly because as you see, I showed you all men, but there is Aaliyah, Whitney, other... um women that has passed over too so it's like if you can picture or remember remember someone who's passed away that was a celebrity they are assisting you because they're sending you that sign right so you might start seeing things of nelson mandela after you scroll a month later a week later you might see martin luther king or you might see juice or you might see prince or you might see michael right and that's them continually connecting with you or sending you that sign right so it's like these people went through that disruption in their life. They had disruption. They had to fight. They had to be broken down. They had they have so much wisdom that they still weren't able to give out as a human, right? But now they have so much information because they see the world from a higher perspective, not just the city, not just the state, not just at home. It's the whole circle. They're able to see it in full circle, right? So they're able to see it inside and out. They're able to see the aliens there i'm hearing like these people these celebrities departed celebrities are in their celestial body now they're in a different body a different version of themselves so when you cross over you'll probably be able to see them and they'll you'll, they'll look familiar but some of them have changed drastically like they don't look the same they're not a human anymore right so you know how like we see pictures of uh, I'm hearing something about the Anunnaki and how they look and how our skin we our skin has adapted to this earth right and made us copper and stuff so but we were blue and some of us were green some of us were just different colors right different frequency has a different color right so it's like they're in a different frequency now so they're not going to be the same but they are going to connect with you and reveal themselves as how you remember seeing them right on this earth that's when they send you those signs so they i'm just hearing like they all have so much knowledge because of the life that they live that they want to help and help the people who are trying to become like them or they look up to them or they just want to make a positive impact for the world right so they want to assist you on this positive impact for the world right they are all of light, light energy. They are light beings. They only respond to high frequencies. They do not respond to low frequencies, all right? They're not around low frequencies. They're around high. But if you call upon them, it's like you calling their name is already putting you in a higher frequency because they're in a higher frequency. So you say their name, they're going to come to you. It's like a phone call, right? And they're going to help you with whatever you need help with. So um, like taking a stand, making a movement, building a community building a, a fan base or building um a, a impact on the nation right they want to be a part of that with you right so they're going to send you signs they're going to send you numbers maybe their birth dates you'll see their birthday look up their birthday look into these people's background is what i'm hearing if you want to connect with these people even if you don't see them on the ones that i showed you you can literally look up their information online, connect with them. They'll send you more signs. That's how you get tapped in. That's how they will show you deeper perspectives of life. You know, it's like <laughs> this information that I'm giving you guys, it's like people pay, make you pay for this. I don't know why, but because they just want you to be limited, right? They want you to know that you are abundant and you will be abundant. These people were in abundance, right? These people had some type of level of 
money or freedom or access to do certain things that we weren't able to do, right? But they want to give you access. They want to make way for you, right? So they're going to send you signs. I keep saying sending signs because that's the way that they communicate with you. They have to continuously send you signs. And they've already been sending you signs before this message, right? They have a higher foresight. They, they can foresee your life 10 years from now, 20 years from now. And it's like, for instance, me, if I wanted to... I, I really connect with Whitney because she's a Leo, just like me, right? <laughs> and I want I want to be a singer. Not saying I want to be a singer. I am a singer. I am a rapper. But it's like I do all. I'm multi-talented. But say I wanted to uh, sing like her, have a high pitch or something like that. I would sit there and watch her videos. So she would, while I'm watching her videos, I'm being taught by her, right? So it's like they were already teachers in this realm. But now they're higher teachers for us, right? Um, it's like they want to say something about going back to this um, disruption. It's like they're aware of what's going to come in the future. They're aware that there's witchcraft being done. That there's being witchcraft being done against God's people, right? They want you to be aware and protect yourself. Because it's like, guess what? Nobody's safe in the spiritual realm. You're safe. But you're safe in the physical, right? And obviously the elites ain't going to attack everybody physically. But what can they do? Attack you spiritually, right? You are fighting something that you don't even know. You are fighting against these enemies that you aren't even aware of. It's what they want you to become aware of and take action to cast away these energies because it's a collective. Now I'm hearing, I'm sorry, I'm hearing that Barbie girl. I'm a Barbie girl. There's, if you look it up, it's actually, and it was actually in uh, Spanish. I looked up, because I'm like, why do I keep hearing this Barbie thing? Like, obviously, you know, Nicki Minaj, Ice Spice, they're doing that song. But they're subliminally playing I'm a Barbie girl while they're rapping, right? So they're not only speaking to your conscious mind, they're speaking to your subconscious. Your subconscious upset, accepts everything. You know that there is a Barbie spell. Are you aware of the Barbie spell? It's time to become aware of the spells that we are being attacked by. But guess what? It doesn't hurt, right? So it doesn't, it seems harmless, right? But it's attacking a collective of people and it's building energy, right? It's brewing. This certain energy is brewing as a collective in the music industry, people who listen to music. Now I'm hearing about the people who um, don't listen to music at all. You know those type of people, I don't know what you call them, but they just don't listen to music at all. They have a higher sight and perspective of what we are consumed in or what we're consuming. And it's like, it's time to be aware of what music you're consuming. It's time to be aware of who you're listening to on a daily basis because that's what's programming your mind. That's what's controlling your actions. And it's an add up. It's adding up. So you're like, oh, this video ain't going to do it. It's just one video. But then you watch a whole bunch of videos that are controlling or spell casting or it has some type of energy into it. And now it's controlling you because it's been built up. You've allowed it to build up, build up in your soul, in your system, right? So it's like... uh they're going to give you confirmations or you're going to see uh, shooting stars. You're going to see UFOs. Or you're going to be able to see their their presence in your life, these celebrities. And like I keep saying, it's a whole bunch of passed away celebrities, not just the ones that I'm talking about right now. So don't limit your access and actually study these people who've walked this earth. It's, it's so important to connect with people who have already walked this earth. Because they already know how it's going to go down. These celebrities know how it's about to go down, okay? So they train us to, when somebody dies, we forget about them, right? We just push them to the side. Oh, they're gone. They're dead and gone. That's it. But if you connect with them, they can raise your frequency up to a higher level, raise your knowledge, give you sacred information and power that you wouldn't have known speaking to a human. You know why? Because that human hasn't died yet but then you can talk to people watch these videos is what i'm here watch videos of people who said they died and came back to life right those people can give you some information because they've actually had that experience to cross over that outer body experience if you're not um 
getting outside of your body at certain times of the year or as you are in this life, you literally won't know or experience what you're meant to know, right? You won't experience what you were meant to experience. But um, it's like they're protecting you and your loved ones. They're letting you know that your loved ones are safe. It's like um, with Nelson Mandela, Freedom Man. They're trying to set your souls free. These celebrities have a job to set the souls free, okay? It's like even Michael, how he knew, he knew, he knew, he knew when his time was going to come. Um, he's Archangel Michael. Like, he had a higher, he was already in this life with a higher calling. It's like all these celebrities had a higher calling. And their calling hasn't stopped. They're still in their calling. And part of their calling is connecting with the people not on no demonic type of way if you're not if you're scared of this this isn't for you but um yes it's like these per these people were already in the public eye they were already recognized they were already celebrated they already went through that life of confusion and uh dis uh deceitful ways and they've already been took the wrong cup, took the wrong opportunity. They've already been confused before. So they want to make sure that whatever you're going towards, like if you want to be known, famous, or big, or worldwide, they want to make sure you're not in this position. You're not confused. You're not deciding off of clouded judgment is what I'm hearing. These people had to decide and make choices off of clouded judgment. But now that they can see outside of it, that's why God, God's really picky about who he's putting out in the public or who he's making a celebrity right now because... He doesn't want them to end up like Michael who had to just take drugs to just go to sleep or just had no control over um, when things get put out and just had too many hands in his in his pockets, right? They want to make sure that you don't got a million hands in your pocket, right? Only you should be deciding and only you should have control over your life unless it's God, right? So it's like they want to make sure you don't give your control to the government. You don't give your control to a man or to a woman, to somebody who's just controlling and dominant, right? They don't want you to give your power away. These people had to give their power away. Or these people only could speak um, on certain platforms, right? Um, and that's they want to just break all of that. They want to... Bring, a, bring about a new way of expression. All these people have expressed themselves in so many ways. Now they want to create new ways of expression. So it's like, are you ready for that? Are you scared or are you, are you ready? <laughs> it's like they've been betrayed. They've been deceived. They've been lied. They've been t got money taken from their pocket. They've been in bad situations in life where some of them felt suicidal. Some of them felt like they couldn't. Like they couldn't escape. It's crazy. So yeah, they are trying to communicate with you. They're trying to speak to you about something that you're trying to do in this life that's going to put you in the public eye, right? They want to make sure you are protected and have that wisdom. Call upon Archangel Michael to protect you. Guide you as you walk into the music in industry. Guide you as you walk into the business industry. Guide you as you walk into any industry of power. They want you to make sure that you're, you ask for that protection. Obviously, Jesus most definitely, but it's like these people still have work to do. You can still call on to them, not praying to them like they're your Lord. All hail nobody. The hell is all hail God. I, I pray to God. That's who it is. And I, and I know God's my God, and I know these celebrities are not my God, but they are like friends. Oh, now I'm hearing it. Oh, God, this, this message is tapping in now. So it's like... You wanted to see these people. These, this certain celebrity knows that you wanted to go to their concert or you wanted to meet them. You wanted to talk to them. You wanted to get to know them. You wanted those backstage passes. You wanted that meet and greet. And it's like now, <clears throat> it's like you wanted to see them in action, live and in action. But guess what? It's like you're getting what you want because they're they're with you closer than you know. They're closer to the closer to you than you know, right? It's like they're no longer a ticket away. It don't cost money to speak with them. What does it cost? Your time, your meditation. How much energy are you, you, you gotta build this relationship. Build this relationship with these celebrities, okay? You're able to connect with them through spirit. Through spirit, through God's, God's um, say-so. 
ask God, God, can you give me access to talk to this specific celebrity? I want information or I want to learn from this person, right? They want to, they want you to learn from them, learn with them. They want to learn with you. They want to grow with you, right? It's like they see your ranking. They see your, your growth. They see where you're going to be in the future, right? And it's back to what I'm saying, because these celebrities, it's like as a collective, these celebrities are saying like, I, as I crossed over, when I passed over, I seen all the people that weren't able to see me. I see them. I see you. I acknowledge you. And they want to let you know they acknowledge you. They love when you listen to their music. They love when you watch their videos. They love when you wear their clothes or clothes with their face on it. They like those type of things. It makes them so happy because you're keeping their name alive. And in return of keeping their name alive, they want to help you and assist you in your life, okay? So that's what I'm hearing for you guys. I love you guys. I'll see you in my next video. Peace.